What's going on guys, Krahu here, and first and foremost I want to apologize for the lack of videos over the past two days. If you have been following me on Twitter, you would know that I was kind of sick. I mean, I had a high fever, um, you know, I cough constantly. Just a really, really, really bad cold. And that prevented me from uh, from doing any commentaries. Actually, at this moment, I'm, I'm sucking on a, on a hole's cough drop. Just so that I could get through this commentary. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy, and this is a kind of a special video, two-parter, well not two-parter, just split into two. Uh, first one is a really good effort, I mean if you notice, the top guy uh, when I joined already had 17 kills and this is a gun game. And I really thought I could win this, you know, and I joined and I got quite, uh, quite up there, quite fast. So if you guys enjoy it, be sure to leave me a thumbs up, and I would appreciate that very very much because you guys know... I love you. So the bottom line is this, as you guys can see by the title. Where did Call of Duty go wrong? Uh, where did uh, Call of Duty lose its appeal? Or, you know, which part, which aspect of the multiplayer? Because we're not talking about the campaign, because campaigns of Call of Duty are awesome. They're, they always were. But where in the aspect of the multiplayer did the the franchise go wrong uh, if, if it did in fact go wrong this is up to you guys this is uh, I want you guys to get into a discussion in my opinion uh, you know beginning with Call of Duty 4 which was this huge leap from Call of Duty 3 and Call of Duty 2 ginormous leap I mean it was it was fantastic it was simple it was uh, you know you have your guns you have your attachments you have your perks boom you you're thrown into a battlefield and you proceed to kill people and get kill streaks get rewards and stuff like this then we had the release of uh, World at War, which was based around the same idea, you know, same type of engine, same type of, uh, you know, perks and, and three kill streaks and all that stuff, just thrown into World, at World War II setting. Then we had, of course, Modern Warfare 2, which was a really big overhaul, and as far as Call of Duty goes, I mean, you were introduced to a lot of, you know, a lot of kill streaks, uh, just a lot of different mechanics, a lot of new equipment. And from Black Ops, uh, from Modern Warfare 2, we go into Black Ops, which was a little bit more simplified than Modern Warfare 2, if I can say that. Maybe not really. It was based around the same idea. So, at this point, you guys should know what I'm getting at. Uh, then, came, then, then came out Modern Warfare 3, and then came out, of course, Black Ops 2. All followed the same idea. So, maybe, just maybe the gameplay became boring because, you know, it was the same basic you know, equation for multiplayer. Throw in perks, throw in new kill streaks, and boom, you have a game. You know, same engine, same everything, uh, just a reskin version of Call of Duty. And I'm not saying that's bad because they make a lot of money off of it. And Call of Duty is enjoyable. I mean, on, on le so let's go through this. On Call of Duty 4, I have around, uh, oh, I don't know, 20 days or so, uh, I, I think, 21 days. On Modern Warfare 2, between my two accounts, I have like... Oh god, like 25 or 30 maybe. On Black Ops 1 I have like 14 or, or 13, something like that. On Modern Warfare 2 I have like 2 or 3 days. And on Black Ops 2 I have uh, maybe like 7. So, uh, you know, some Call of Duty's are better than others. But I just want to know because, I mean, there's a lot of people who, you know, jump ship to Battlefield. And that's not bad because I play both. I play Call of Duty and Battlefield and Medal of Honor and whatever the fuck I want to play. But there's a lot of disgruntled uh, people who were just turned off by Call of Duty for the simple fact that it uh, that it stayed the same and, and I keep seeing these comments not only on my videos but in a lot of people's videos I don't just you know throw my opinion out there I, I do research I, I look at other commentators I look at their comment section I want to see what their fans have to say and then I you know I analyze it and see if I agree with it and I do have to say that sometimes it's kind of boring to play Call of Duty, but remember, this isn't uh, this isn't a job. You don't have to play it. See, the 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 best people, the funniest actually people, who bitch and whine about Call of Duty are the people who don't even play it. They just hate on the game just to be haters. That's it. That's pretty much it. They don't play it. They don't give it the time of day. They weren't there from the beginning. They just bitch and whine to be a part of uh, I don't know ongoing conflict. Now, I don't want to say a conflict between Battlefield 3 and, you know, excuse me, Battlefield and Call of Duty because these are completely different games. Uh, you know, sure, they're first-person shooters, but you guys know what I'm talking about. 
but uh the people who bitch about battlefield are the people who don't even play it and the same goes around uh you know from call of duty the people who bitch at call of duty don't even play it so you shouldn't take these people seriously if you if somebody has a valid argument against one game or the other then that's fine my argument for why call of duty lost it they waited too long to make innovations I don't know if the developers were aware that a new console was going out, uh, you know, was coming out in uh, 2013 this year. Uh, so maybe they tried to milk it as much as possible, the engine, until finally we can get the next gen engine or whatever the hell it's gonna be. But uh, I think a revolution should have started at, I don't know, maybe Modern Warfare 3, because that's where it began. At Modern Warfare 3, we should have gotten a new engine, and then every three Call of Duties, we should have, you know, seen some major improvements. Now, I'm not saying change the Call of Duty formula, because if you're, if you're gonna meddle with Call of Duty, that can backfire hugely. I mean, if I'm playing Call of Duty, I wanna know that I'm playing Call of Duty, you know, I wanna have the over-the-top kill streaks. Not like fucking support packages, or, or assault, or defensive, or specialist, or whatever the hell it was, I just want one set of kill streaks. Some perks, some guns, some attachments, and that's it. So tell me in the comment section below, where do you think that Call of Duty lost it? That, that they lost its touch? That's pretty much it. Where did you feel that you had enough? That's pretty much it. I, and I had to cut away to this one because it took me like fucking three minutes to get a kill uh, with the last weapon. So hope you hope you guys enjoyed. This is Krahu. Be sure to leave a like. And again, I apologize for not uploading for the past two days, but I was sick. See you guys next time.